Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's going to be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over all the new makeup releases and give my thoughts on them and talk about what I wanna buy and what I don't wanna buy. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Welcome to a new Will I Buy It. I always link my playlist down below, the community playlist. And to jump into my OOTD, we're just kinda casual today. I just have on biker shorts and then this kind of like distressed uh, little crop top that I just bought from Hotties here in Las Vegas. I thought it was cute, so that's what I wanted to wear. Um, I did do some filming on this look. I finally used the Huda Beauty Jaguar palette. I picked it up in my latest shop with me at Sephora, and then I did a trying new makeup, but then I got the new Sigma Cinderella palette. Kind of wanted to use that. So we finally used the Jaguar palette, so this look, I look, will be going up over on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. All right, I think that's everything that I have to say, so let's just go ahead and hop into it. I always link all the accounts that I'm reading from down below, and I'm gonna be starting off with a Trend Mood 1. And I'm not gonna lie, not a lot was jumping out at me this week. I'm trying to think of like what to even start with because I was just kind of like, oh, uh, okay. I did also do some recent purchases for eyeshadow palettes. So I did get the Odin's Eye and Annette's Makeup Corner palette. And then I did pick up the Glam Light Green palette, the Martini, Dirty Martini palette. I did also purchase that one. So yeah, you know, I've done a pretty recent shop with me at Sephora. Then I got a couple new palettes. So I'm just kind of like, meh, you know, I'm feeling like I'm feeling pretty good. But uh, let's talk about these new lip products from Makeup by Mario. We have the new Ultra Suede Lip Collection. It's a matte lipstick. It's supposed to be super comfortable with a soft suede-like finish, weightless, long-lasting, and features a blurring effect for a soft focus finish. All right, 20 shades, gonna be $24 each. And I do see that there is a Sam shade, which is a mid-tone pink nude. I'd probably like that. I'd probably like that. So these are available now. You know, I wouldn't mind trying these out. I don't feel, I'm trying to think, what's the last lip product? that I purchased. I feel like I've been going for a lot of either like the skin tints, of course, um, and complexion products or like cheek products, bronzers, blushes, and that sort of thing. Uh, so I haven't uh, picked, or I haven't been trying a lot of new lip products, but it sounds like something I would like. I do like some, I, I do usually like more of a matte lipstick or a glossy lip. I don't usually like, you know, like a satin lip. That's usually not my vibe, but I don't know. It's been interesting to try all the different products from Makeup by Mario since it's a newer line. So when they come out with new products, like I just bought the brow pencil, which I meant to use today and then I totally forgot. Uh, so it's kind of fun to try out the different products. So maybe if I did another shop with me at Sephora, I could see myself grabbing that one. And then let's see, from Fenty Beauty, we have some products for holiday. This is New Shades in the Glossy Posse Fantasy Foursome. So this is limited edition. So this says a new set, Fenty Glow Fantasy, Hot Chocolate Fantasy, Champ Stamp Fantasy, and then a full-size gloss bomb cream in candy milk. Will be available October 4th on the website. Okay. Um, you know, I, I do like the Glossy Posse from Fenty Beauty, but nothing that I feel like I have to have right now. I really just kind of go back and forth between my Huda Beauty Silk Balm, my Lawless Gloss, uh, the Sigma Lip Oil. I wear that quite a bit. Those are just kind of what I've been reaching for the most. So I don't think that I would need that one. And then some more holiday I see from Too Faced. This is the Christmas Coffee Mini Eyeshadow Palette for $27. It's limited edition. It sent it like Christmas morning coffee. Eight shades with matte shimmer metallic finishes. Um, no, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. I don't know, a lot of, just sometimes I feel like holiday stuff just I really can't get into, but especially like Too Faced, I feel like I've really never been able to get into their, or not for a while have I been able to get into their holiday. I'll put it that way. So that looks very snooze worthy for me personally. I'm sure there's gonna be people that like it, so don't take offense. For me, that's how I feel, is what it is. All right, also for holiday from Sephora, a new Sephora, Sephora favorite set, the holiday makeup must-haves. This is $54. So we have the Fenty Beauty uh, full-size mascara, the Kosas wet lip oil plumping treatment, a full-size, a beauty blender makeup sponge, a Benefit Cosmetics uh, Clear Brow Gel in a mini, a Natasha Denona Biba 3-pan eyeshadow palette, 3-pan there, 
uh, NARS Bronze Powder in Laguna, a mini, the Milk Makeup Mini Hydro Grip Primer, the Dr. Jarred to Color Correcting uh, Mini, the Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash in a mini, and the Way Detangling and Frizz Fighting Leave-In Conditioner for a mini, as a mini. All right, what did I say? This is uh, $54. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Not that I would personally need it myself because I've either tried everything or I have everything in here. But I could definitely see if there's products you've been wanting to try out, like the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Kind of interesting to have a little trio of the Natasha Denona. The NARS Laguna is pretty much always in everything. The Fenty Mascara is nice. You know, if you love a clear brow gel, you know, that's cool. I didn't really love the color corrector. I think I just had that one in my makeup that I regret buying. Um, just I just didn't use it enough for me. So, yeah. Um, it's I, I don't personally need it myself, but it's a good mixture of products if you think that you would use them or be able to like gift them or stocking stuffers or things like that. Oh, we're thinking about stocking stuffers. Moving on, uh, I see a new release from Lunar Beauty. This is the new Moon Spell Volume 2 Collection. Includes the eyeshadow palette, which is 48. There's lipsticks for 18, glosses for 17. The lip trio is 42, or the full collection is 80, or 110 that comes with the brushes. So this is uh, Manny's brand. I feel like we haven't had anything from Lunar Beauty as of recently. At least not that I can think of off the top of my head. And I know a lot of people really did like the first palette. This one for me, it is eye-catching because it has a lot of purples in there. And I really do like purple shadows. But it is larger and I'm just like, I don't know if I would need something this big. And because there's so many purples in there, not that the, some of the shades look like exacts of one another. But they seem like so close. If it was maybe a little bit smaller, it would be, you know more geared towards me and again like i said i just bought well technically i just bought three new eyeshadow palettes because i bought the huda beauty then the odin's eye then the glam light so i'm gonna play with those so i don't think that i need this but i feel like a lot of people are going to be really excited for it and then another palette i see this is available now at beautylish the vip expert palette bonjour paris by terry all right um there is nine eye-catching neutrals in here this is going to be limited edition for 56 dollars it looks very pretty uh, you know, I love a good neutral palette, but I also have a lot. Like I said, I just bought three eyeshadow palettes. Um, you know, it's pretty expensive. By Terry usually is, so $56. I think all of, um, you know, the designs that are in here, that's super cute. Um, but it's just it's just not going to be for me. I feel like this week's Will I Buy It is not going to be very exciting. That's usually what happens after I start buying some makeup. Uh, let's see, another eyeshadow palette. This is from ColourPop, the Play It Jewel eyeshadow palette, 30 matte and shimmer shades. There's also gonna be a party proof eye primer coming out. Right now I just see coming soon. All right, so one of the larger 30 pan palettes, I just, I don't go for the bigger eyeshadow palettes. So this one definitely doesn't call to me. Um, I didn't pick up any of the past ColourPop palettes and I don't know if I even kept, like if I got them in PR, I don't even know if I kept any of the larger ones cause they're just not for me. I don't really use eyeshadow primer a lot. A lot of times I just use my concealer and that works fine for me. So that would all be a pass. And then because we always have to have a roasting section in the Will I Buy It's Now, this is a new collection with Hip Dot and Adam's Family 2. So I believe the mo there's a new movie that just came out. I saw the trailer for it during the football game last night. But we have the Spells and Hexes Pigment Palette for $24. There's a Lipstick Trio for $28. And the Collector's Box Set for $58 will be available October 5th. I have seen The Addams Family. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to share the news that I have seen The Addams Family. I do know most of the characters' names. I know the line of, like, Wednesday, play with your food. Like, that's quite funny. I like that. Uh, my mom would say that to me quite a bit. So, yes, I have seen The Addams Family. I am familiar Thank you, thank you, we finally got one, we finally got one. Uh, yes, I know I saw a lot of the tags of people saying this looks so close to uh, Kat Von D, when it was the Kat Von D brand, and the, was it the Sinner and Saint palette, uh, or something along those lines? I, I do, I do really get those types of vibes from what we have going on here. Um, so, I mean, I'll, I'll say that. The actual eyeshadow palette, I don't think I would really wear a lot of those shades a lot. Same with the lipsticks. You know, it's just not my personal makeup taste. It will be for a lot of people. But for me, uh, that one is going to be a no. And then to continue on with the roasting, <laughs> this one is with XX Revolution, one of the many lines under Makeup Revolution, and The Matrix. All right, so we have 
eyeshadow palettes, lip sets, eyeliners, mascaras, brush sets, face pads. Um, so there's a lot of different options here. will be available October 6th online. All right. So let's see here. Have I seen The Matrix? No. Do I know what it is? I, it's like that thing where like he's like leaning backwards. Like, you know? I'm pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's that one. I, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know that that's what it is. Uh, but no, I've never actually seen the movie. So, <sighs> moving on. Uh, so the eyeshadow palette, uh, you know, it just kind of makes me feel like meh. Like, I feel like that's kind of how I feel about Makeup Revolution in general. I'm just kind of like meh about it. But yeah, you know, it's fine. It's just, it's not personally for me, but oh well. Wait, one for two. One for two is not bad. Some new products are coming from the Made by Mitchell line. So we have new collection products and shades. We have the Milk Palette, uh, two graphic liners, new blush shades, a blending sponge, a makeup organizer, a travel case, a limited edition brush organizer case will be available October 1st on the website. Okay. I haven't tried anything from the brand yet. Um, nothing has really spoken to me on a deep level and again i don't think anything's going to be calling to me this week the sponges look nice the eyeshadow palette isn't quite my jam um i really haven't heard much about the brand i'd love to know if anyone has tried it i just i feel like for me personally i haven't seen a lot about it so i'd be curious to hear any feedback uh, and then some more holiday from mac cosmetics i'm just going to put a, a picture here we have a lot going on duo chrome eyeshadows eye pencils glosses lipsticks lashes face palettes glow duos brushes and more available october november on the website the packaging is pretty cute like i like whatever it is that looks like little candy i, I don't know if they're supposed to be like blushes and highlighters maybe i'm not sure like mac usually has some pretty cute packaging the duo chromes, you know, they look pretty, but I just, I don't really wear stuff like that a ton. I'm probably going to end up passing over everything I usually do. Again, I just, I, as someone who does what I do and has such a large makeup collection, a lot of times holiday releases just do not seem geared towards me, which is fine. Um, you know, at least we have options. Uh, so I usually do end up passing over the Mac. So yeah, I can see myself passing on that one. Uh, we have a new product coming from Hindash. This is the new Hairline Liquid Eyeliner. This is going to be $23. So I don't do liquid liner a whole ton. So, um, you know, I can probably pass over that. But it's also interesting to see, like, the new products that Hindash is coming out with under his line. And then because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, uh, we do have a new uh, makeup eraser that is coming out. And it is covered with boobies. I love that. 10% of proceeds will go to Team Edith to help support the fight against breast cancer. These are going to be $20. So I love that it goes towards a good cause. You know, always a, a good reminder in the month of October, self-test, mammograms, whatever it is that you can do. I did lose my grandmother to breast cancer. Um, so it's a, an important cause to me. So, um, you know, always a good time, always a good reminder to be checking yourself or making your appointments and uh, staying safe. So I love that. I have quite a few makeup erasers, but if I am shopping at Sephora, I might just throw this this one in my cart. It's never a bad thing to have enough makeup erasers around the house, I think. Um, let's see. I feel, I feel like I'm kind of jumping between holiday and non-holiday, but we have even more holiday from Too Faced. Again, I'm just going to put the picture here. We have different sets. <sighs> And again, I think there's going to be some of these here that really do make sense for people. And before I started this career, holiday releases and these types of sets were something that I really did call to and they could last me a long time. So, you know, it, it makes sense just to a lot of us who love beauty so much and we purchase so much and we have larger collections that that's what doesn't always make sense to us. But I see some some lip products, some eyeshadows and, and face palettes and, you know, some ornaments with the mascara and um, it looks like maybe there's a bronzer in there that looks really cute. Most likely I'm going to be passing over everything for myself, but, uh, you know, sure, sure it'll be good for some people. And then let's see, Essence is com coming out with the good coffee in fall. Wait, what? New, the coffee to glow. Let's just ignore what I said. The coffee to glow by Essence with a coffee scent. We have an under eye energy treatment, a healthy glow face scrub, a scented highlighter brush, a coffee lip scrub, highlighter beans body and mind wake up mist and an eyeshadow palette right now i just see coming soon 
Okay, that's cute. Actually, the palette kind of reminds me a little bit of that by Terry, just like a very neutral, like, but kind of like deeper neutral. I don't know if there's a lot that I really would need for myself, like the under eye energy treatment. I'm kind of curious as to what that is though. Uh, but nothing that really calls to me on, on a deep level, I would say. Right, I do see new face scrubs coming from 4th Ray Beauty under the uh, ColourPop line. So these are the Pumpkin Face Polish for smooth, healthy skin. Uh, let's see, I see coming soon. I don't really like face polishes, anything that's too too much of a scrub or too much of an exfoliator is just not really my jam so i'm gonna pass over that i also my skin doesn't really like a lot of scented stuff like watermelon i'm not sure how it feels about pumpkin but that one's gonna be a pass for me and then from kylie skin she's coming out the new watermelon lip oil uh this is gonna be available october 5th uh so i mean i like lip oils like i said i've been using the one from sigma quite a bit it's called tint or hint I always get it wrong. I think it's tint. And it does leave a slight, just kind of nude, neutral tint to my lips. So I really like that one. So I wouldn't need to grab that. I haven't tried anything from Kylie Skin. And then lastly, I just see some beauty news and that it's almost time for the Sephora Holiday Savings Event. Uh, the code is going to be Yay Holiday When VIB Rouge, November 5th. November 5th through the 15th, 20% off. VIB, November 9th through the 15th, 15% off. And Beauty's, Beauty Insider, November 11th through the 15th, 10% off. And there's gonna be 30% off the Sephora collection. Woohoo! Okay, so in about a month, we will have some Sephora sales going on. How exciting, how exciting. Uh, I think that's it though. I feel like this was kind of like a meh week. Um, you know, just kind, of, just kind of a slower week, but that's okay because I will either have a haul coming up or trying new makeup or playing with new eyeshadow palettes, indie palettes, you know, something along those lines. I will have that coming up. I do want to say too that a GoFundMe has been started for Mel Thompson. Um, I have talked about the passing of my friend Mel Thompson in quite a few of my recent videos and uh, Kelsey Brianna J did start a GoFundMe to help her family during this time. So I'm going to have that link in my description box. That is the only GoFundMe that is set up for Mel. So I know a lot of us influencers are trying to share it. Please make sure because there's always, you know, horrible people that do fake accounts and scam accounts and stuff. So the ones, the link that we are sharing is the only GoFundMe that has currently been started for Mel Thompson that is actually going to her family. So I will have that linked in my description box. Thank you to everyone for your support over this time. Um, and I hope that you're continuing to keep Mel's family and uh, loved ones in your thoughts. But other than that, that is going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy It video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.